A colourful mountain walk within the city. We are out to discover Guizhou, and this is Drone and Fun. Welcome to Guizhou and a brand new series of drone and phone. We got in very late last night, eh, Jack? Yeah, early at two o'clock in the morning. But we're here now in Guiyang. Now, over the next five weeks, we're going to be exploring a lot more of this fantastic province. Really yeah, beautiful, be beautiful, beautiful. And only about an hour and a half away from Hong Kong, yeah. if you're coming from there. But we're starting right in the centre of the city, the provincial capital in Guiyang. Yeah, yeah. This is the Qianlin Park. And it's a massive park, and we're expecting to get a great long hike in today. Yeah, yeah, five hours at least, I would say. Five hours hiking right in the centre of the city. But before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to our clothing sponsors, Fila Raven, for supplying the clothes today. Also to Osprey for our backpacks, and to Life Straw for their water bottles. Let's get going. Qianling Hill Park covers more than 1,000 acres and is situated right in the heart of Guiyang City, the provincial capital of Guizhou Province in China. We entered from the south gate and immediately started to climb the first of a series of peaks along the eastern edge of the park. Jack here is already complaining about the stairs. There are ancient signs along the way in case you get lost and plenty of opportunities to get contrasting pictures of the mountains and city. This is just a spectacular view. The park is full of surprises at every turn, from kite flyers on the ridges between the peaks to singers hiding deep in the forest. Descend down to the valleys and the activity increases. We saw dancing, tai chi and swordplay to name a few. It's hard to believe that I am smack in the middle of one of China's biggest cities. This park is huge and when you're in it, you feel very much like you're in the mountains. Let's have a look here. You can hear the sounds of the city below. In fact, people doing exercise right below us. There's a huge amount of music and dancing and all sorts of things going on. But in terms of the view, couldn't be any better. The people we met in the park were extremely friendly. The 70-year-old challenged me to a press-up competition which I subsequently lost. What you must feel like, Jack, when you have a much older man completely thrashing you on a simple little bit of exercise. <laughs> well, we've done about 4.4K so far, but we've been going some time, right, Jack? Yeah, yeah, up and down, three summits already. A lot of steps, but it's a real chance to see a slice of life in Guiyang. We're getting to see as we go down into the valleys all sorts of activities going on and then up into the mountains like now you walk for some distance without actually seeing a soul. Okay we're gonna go see if we can check out some wildlife that apparently resides in the next section of the park. So we're just coming down to a zoo and Jack tells me there's tigers in there. And I'm a little bit worried because this fence has been broken down and we're not sure whether we're about to enter the tiger enclosure or not. So uh, I'm letting Jack go first. The zoo is small and has a large collection of big mammals. It's also free to enter. From there we visited a cave, a small lake and then climbed a hill to the Hongfu Temple, which is well worth a quick visit. This area of the park is full of monkeys who will normally leave you alone as long as you don't take out food in front of them. So when we go hiking in Hong Kong, Jack always likes to buy these red bean buns from the local convenience store. But here he has found real the, stuff. The, the best red bean bun that you could ever imagine. We're going to buy another five or, or seven for the rest of the trip. Amazing. He's in paradise. He really is. Luckily, the monkeys failed to get Jack's buns and we made it to the top of the final peak where we hopped on a small cable car for a final ride back to the park entrance. Well, that's the end of this episode. Five peaks, about 10 kilometers. How's it been for you, Fantastic Jack? Fantastic in this small park, but you got everything, everything there. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. Now taking the cable car back down. Make sure you spend a day in Guiyang walking in the mountains in the city before you go out to the other mountains in Guizhou. We'll be doing that very soon. Yeah, four episodes coming. 
I now know what it's like to be beaten by a man 15 years older than me in a big physical challenge. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. My name's DJ Clark. I'm Jack. And this it's is Drone and Fun. fun. DJ is fascinated with our retirement life in China. You have all the diversities. I think he will end up here. <laughs>